why your vpn gets blocked so right here i've gotten so many comments so many complaints on how you can make your vpn undetectable so right here in this video i'm going to be showing you a process and what you should know about getting your vpn undetectable but first of all the reason why your vpn gets detectable can be due to three reasons which is one the geographical restrictions the governmental censorship and the institution policy so these three things makes your vpn gets detectable but right here in this video i'm going to be showing you a process of which you can get to avoid that what i would advise you do is to make sure you have a vpn server protocol like you switch your vpn server protocol you can also change your ip address and make a rotating vpn usual when you're using your vpn try using a different protocol so these are what you should put in place to get your vpn undetectable now the question you will ask is why is my vpn um open to detection like how is it possible and why is my vpn always detected the reason are just few things which is the ip address blocking now these ips are numbers that are being detected so once these ips are, are being tracked your vpn will be blocked and also there's what is called the deep pocket inspection so once these two are in place your vpn will be detectable and you won't have access to whatever you're using your vpn to do that is why i recommend you follow this process which i'm going to be showing you right in this video so you can get proper usage of your location now but before we proceed with this video if you're coming to this channel for the first time or you're hearing this voice for the first time this is the voice of joachim so what i do right on this platform is to leverage online make reviews and also show you platforms that have actually worked for me and i come down right here to bring this to your table now, if this sounds like what you're interested in, please do well to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, turn on the bell notification so YouTube can notify you whenever I upload any valuable content like what you're about to watch. So right here, what we have on the screen is called the more login. And in my previous video, I showed us how to use CloudFold on more login. Now, the question most of us are asking is, can I use more login on my device? Now, you can actually use more login on your device, but first of all, I will advise you download this more login to your device. So once you have this more login, how you can actually use this is through CloudFone. Now, the reason why we are using CloudFone is that it appears just like the way you have it on your mobile device. Now, first of all, what you just want to do is to get your proxy. Like I said in my previous video, you need to come down to proxy. If you're a new user, you need to watch my previous video on how you can sign up on this uh, more login so you can have more logins as the name implies now when you come right here you can see that i have a uh, sox5 us um, proxy right here so what you're going to be doing as a new user is to come down to where you can actually find add proxy now once the moment you click on add proxy that means you have actually purchased your proxy for some of us that have not purchased our proxy what you're going to be doing is to come down to purchase proxy now the moment you click on purchase proxy it's going to bring you over to this interface now you can see proxy type okay now we have the um, cloud platform we have the residential proxy and we have the isp i explained this in my previous video which i'm going to be explaining right here now this cloud platform is actually mainly for those for some of us that want to go into the cloud phone okay you actually want to go into cloud phone. so this is what you are to be using when you want to purchase your cloud phone um, proxy for this one is actually also for um residential for some of us that want to go into proxy fully you can actually use this for your um cloud phone and also for your normal proxy isp also is a strong static ip that you can use for different service so right here what you're going to be doing is come down to cloud phone so once you click on that you can see the territory you can click um to select the middle east the south american asia and the likes of it so this is what you're going to be selecting right here so when you come right here you can see that you can get a purchase of 30 days 90 days and the likes of it and how many proxy do you want to get the total right here so you're going to be putting the amount and the quantity you want to use and click on submit then automatically you're going to be getting your purchase right here remember we are actually getting a proxy for the cloud phone now you can see the price you are going to be paying which is not 
that much for someone that wants to use cloud phone for a month now by eventually you've actually gotten your cloud phone the next thing you want to do right now is to come right here to add your proxy now since i already have my proxy i'm going to come right to add individual now the moment you click on that it's going to bring you over to this interface now let me show you how your proxy is going to look when you get your proxy now when you come right here you're going to be seeing a total number of proxy i've actually gotten for myself so when you come right here you can actually see that right here this is how it's going to look like so what i'm going to do right now is to copy any proxy i want to use and i'm going to paste that right here so i've copied this right here so the moment you're copying this you're copying your ip together with your proxy server and the password the username and the password so you just need to get it once you got your proxy you are going to be getting this available for use so i'm going to copy this right here so the moment i copy this i'm going back to my more login and i'm going to come right here and select this particular one ip2 location then the proxy server you can come right here and paste so the moment you paste this automatically everywhere is going to be filled up as you can see right here so the thing you just need to do the only thing you just need to do is to come right here and click on confirm okay so the moment you click on confirm you can see it has been added successfully so once you've added this the next thing you want to do right now is to get your proxy connected this process is actually you getting your proxy like i said you need to buy this proxy before you activate them now once you've gotten your proxy which is your residential proxy or your cloud phone proxy come down to the profile then under the profile you're going to be seeing that right here so the next thing you want to do is to activate this proxy you just come down right here and click on start so what i'm going to do right now is to come down to my existing and um, proxy right here the moment you've added your proxy you can come down to um new profile so you can see that right here. so this is under cloud phone so the next thing you want to do right now is to um put in uh, the name of the proxy let's say this is um let's just say solve then you come down right here and put in um a profile note that is if you actually want so we are going to come right here and click on confirm all right so the moment you click on confirm you can see it has been created successfully so then you can now come down right here and click on start okay so you need to set this so proxy type sox5 just um, click on sox5 so you come right here and you paste what you've gotten um, before so we are going to paste this we're also going to come down right here and click on confirm okay so the moment you click on confirm you can now go ahead to um, start this um, particular um, proxy all right so it will be running for you now the benefit of this is that you don't actually need to get a vpn now most question comes that how do i get my vpn undetectable now the best thing i can advise right here is that you don't actually need a vpn to run your online stores now vpn actually works good but you can compare um, vpn to proxies because proxies are not easily traced proxies change the total um, configurations of your device that's why most people go into using proxies than using vpn so my advice for you just like what i said earlier the only thing that is making your vpn detectable is the geographical restrictions the governmental censorship and institution policy now these three things are what is holding your vpn from performing perfectly because these three things have what we call internal regulator so they actually have to um, regulate these informations that your vpn is providing so that is why most times your vpn gets leaked when i talked about more login i said it is advisable we go into using more logins because you can have multiple accounts your tiktok account your surveys account you can have multiple accounts just like what you're seeing on the screen so when you come right here you can see we have gallery play store and the like of it so you can go ahead to click on this play store and download any app you actually want to download now let's go back because i don't want to log in with any google now when you come over to your chrome right here you can actually see that the browser appears just like what you have on your mobile device okay so you can come right here and click to um search for any particular 
uh, stuff you want to download so what you just have to do is to make sure you're using the browser so i will not advise you go ahead using vpn vpn can actually give you what you want but at the long run you can actually get restricted when you come down to say you want to start branded you can actually see that you'll be getting access to it without any stress okay so the reason why i want you to start with more login is because you are going to be having less stress while trying to do your service because the question that i get most times are how do i get my vpn not being detected so right here the very best thing i can advise right now is to make sure you're using um cloud phone for your browsers so for your service you just have to focus more on using proxies than using vpn if you're actually finding a rightful way to avoid your vpn from being detected what you just have to do is to make sure you focus more on some particular vpn the answers to that is that you just have to have a nice server protocol and changing your ip address and also have to rotate your vpn on intervals try using a different protocol for that that is if you go ahead choosing to forcefully use vpn on some occasions so right here what i would advise to do is to download the more login so you can have access without restriction and avoiding being detected via using vpn so right here you can see there are so many apps you can download without getting to have multiple devices all this can be downloaded multiple times on more login you can see we have the twitter tiktok and the likes of it so this applies to service also you can have multiple accounts on service without being detected on more login so the best way you can actually go about this is just using proxy and other ways you can also use um, bypassing your vpn being detected is for you to always rotate your ip on intervals and make sure you are changing your ip address okay so changing your ip address does not mean you are changing it consistently all you just have to do is to make sure you do your ip check like i always recommend always do your ip check once turn off vpn without browsing or connection that will actually stop any leaking of your ip address to be traced because once this is traced, that is when you get detected that you're using a vpn this is why i recommend you go ahead using a proxy because this proxy actually automatically change the interface and the regulations of your device so this is how you can actually bypass the blocked version of being detected while using vpn if you actually want to turn this off just come right here and stop this all right so thank you for watching this video to this point i hope you understood and got much value from this video and if you have any questions regarding everything i said in this video please feel free to drop your comments on this particular video and i'll be glad to give response to it so however if you actually want to join my community you can find the link on the pinned comment section to join our community where you get to understand how things are done on proxy vpn and surveys all right thank you for watching this particular video to this point i hope you got much value from this video please if you got value do well to like this video subscribe to the channel and most importantly turn on the bell notification so youtube can notify you whenever i upload any valuable content like what you just watched so see you on my next video and always keep winning